Nathan, what are you doing? Uh, on, uh, hey, hey guys, uh, I didn't know you were there. Sorry, uh, they did tell me we were filming a video today, but I got a little uh, lost in the wall over there. Back in our uh, indoor conference room here at BCA, we got a special treat for you guys today as we see lined up on the table. Um, some new releases, okay? So I'm gonna preface this. I am not an expert, I'm not an engineer. Uh, I got some info from our engineers on staff and done a little bit of research online and try to expand my understanding of this topic. So uh, if I say something wrong or if I get a little tripped up, let us know, cut me a little bit of slack, help us out guys. So new thing that we're introducing, all right? Everybody knows what this is. This is a forged metal aluminum receiver, okay? It's an upper receiver for an AR-15. Um, this is aluminum metal and it is forged. Everybody knows what this is. Everybody knows what it looks like. It's very standard. Everybody's used to this. Anybody who's been in the AR-15 world, they probably own a forged AR-15 receiver, okay? So this is what is we're all used to. This is what we're comfortable with. New thing that BCA is introducing is this is going to be a billet receiver, okay? When I say billet, it is just a different way of producing the upper receiver, okay? It's how the metal is formed and manufactured and machined down to it looks like this, okay? So if we start back to how BCA receives the product from start to finish, when we get a forged receiver into the factory, it looks like this. One big chunk of metal, solid all the way through. It does have some initial machine markings on it. The ribs there, the rails aren't present or anything, okay? We don't have the holes punched through, but this is what we receive. We take this in the back and we machine through it and we make all the proper holes, we drill the takedown pin holes and everything for it, okay? This is how we're gonna receive this forged metal. They take a block that looks like this and they heat it up to seven, 800, 900 degrees and they put it in a press and they push it together in these molds to get these ridges on this forged upper receiver, okay? And that's why it's a forged receiver. They heat it up and mold it with pressure into this, okay? So we'll take this in the back We'll machine it up, drill the holes through it and everything, make it look all nice and pretty. And when we get done, we end up with the product that we're used to seeing, okay? With the holes cut through it, okay? So this is what we get in and this is what we turn it into through a machining process. Everybody's used to this. Everybody knows what this is. Set that off to the side. On the other hand, for the billet materials, this is our finished product, okay? Looks just like the other one. It's got the rail cuts. It's got a forward assist. Got a deflection here to make the shells kick off to the side. It is a little bit skinnier. It is a little bit smaller. And we're gonna show you guys some up close on that in just a second. But this is our finished product for this. What we get in is this giant chunk of aluminum right here. And we're gonna take this and we're gonna put it in our machines back there. And we're gonna shave off all the excess metal that we need to in order to make this finished product here. So we don't heat it up, we don't smash it into a form and make these shapes, we cut all the excess metal off. So what, what that process allows us to do is add extra detail and adds us, allows us to make customization to it or maybe change it a little bit so it's not this standard what you're used to forged upper receiver, okay? So I guess one of the main aesthetic changes to it is this deflection right here. As you can see, this is definitely not as steep of an angle and uh, it's smaller, there's less metal. It doesn't stick out as far as on the normal forged. It sticks out quite a bit more. It has a little bit taller of a profile. It's a little bit wider, but you know, this is what everybody's used to seeing. So if you were to see one of these at the range, you might be like, oh, okay, well that's an AR-15, but it definitely does look a little bit different. Um, on their other side, this look has a, has a look like some of our side chargers. We do have this cut out here for the bolt drop and uh, the front and the back where the charging handles are gonna go here, okay? And this is the standard forged and it looks how it always does as well, okay? So you can actually make different changes to the billet material as you manufacture them and that's why cutting from a large block instead of a mold, we can add that extra customization in there, okay? Now, this does take a little bit longer because there's a lot more machining, so it's a little bit more of a it's a little bit more of an expensive process than getting this whole chunk of metal already pressed for us. 
we're gonna have to machine this whole thing down to this versus getting this in and just cutting the holes out and polishing it up, okay? So um, the forged has a uh, higher textile strength to it because it's uh, how it's produced and how it's pushed together like that. Um, the metal is a little bit stronger than the billet, but since the billets have more metal in them, they're actually a little bit heavier. You're really not gonna notice it if I just handed you two of them, but there's a little bit more metal actually to this billet receiver than there is with the forged. So this extra metal actually increases the strength. So they end up being relatively the same strength. Um, since there is a little bit more metal on the billets, as both of these are shot and they heat up, this actually takes a little bit longer to heat up because it has a little bit more metal to it than the forged that has less. So obviously it's probably gonna heat up a little bit faster, okay? So I'm gonna set those off to the side because nobody wants to look at the unfinished product. They wanna look at the new flashy finished products. So we got a couple of uppers here. This is your standard forged upper receiver, okay? Show that to you. All right, lay that right there. And this is the billet version. So really, all in all, they don't really look that much different. Most people are just gonna be like, hey, that's, you know, that's a nice AR-15 you've got there. But if you get really close and you do look at them, you will see that there is some minor differences. And that's really just from the machining process because we're able to cut a little bit more off of the, uh, the billets and we're gonna add some extra things in there, okay? So functionality wise, they're essentially the same. The materials are gonna be the same aluminum. It's just how the metal is actually put together and how we actually get to the finished product there, okay? So thank you guys so much for hanging around to the end of the video and listening to me talk so much. And like I said, I'm just, I'm learning more and more every day about the process of how we machine things and how we make them and learning this has been a joy. But now that you've actually made it to the end, we're gonna go to a, a new secret and disclosed location down the road to a little new shooting indoor range that we're making up. We're actually working on that. So we're gonna give you guys a sneak peek of that. So thanks for hanging out. We're gonna go over there and shoot, but don't forget questions, comments, concerns, please hit us up in the comments. Let us know if you got ideas for videos, tell us there that you, what you wanna see. Um, subscribe, follow us on Instagram, Look at, check us out on Facebook. Uh, we're trying to put out some new content here like every week. We're putting out some new content on our blog. You can go check that out. Um, thank you guys so much. We're gonna go ahead and uh, head out of the range. We'll see you guys there, okay? All right, guys, well, I appreciate you sticking around for the end of the video. As promised, we're uh, gonna do some shooting with this new billet upper. We do have one of our Cerakote lowers on here just to give you guys a little bit of a two-tone color. And uh, not to be a spoiler alert, but as you can see, we're in a little bit different area than we normally shoot in. We're getting a new indoor range set up just for BCA. We're experimenting with some lighting and we got some steel targets down range and we're hoping to get this up and running with uh, some tabletop reviews and shooting in here as well. So as promised, we're gonna squeeze off a couple rounds and uh, we got these iron flip up sights we threw on there this morning. So we're gonna load up and uh, get to shooting, okay? in here all right guys so we're uh, we're loaded back up here and we're gonna shoot a little bit more we're gonna shoot a little slower see if you guys can uh hear the ting when we're hitting those steel targets down range we got two small octagon targets on either side of that man shaped silhouette there so we got about another 20 rounds loaded up here we'll uh see how good we do okay center oh safe Shoot the left side. Okay, the right side. Center.
right, guys. Well, we're smoking a little bit. It's been fun, guys. I uh, hope you guys can hear all those hits on the steel targets. As I said, we're out here kind of working with a new place. We're getting it set up and everything. So hope you guys enjoy and subscribe and look forward to new content out here. But as always, if you want to see something in particular, tell us down below in the comments. If you have any questions about anything, just let us know. Um, Subscribe to the channel. Check us out on Instagram, Facebook. We are getting some stuff back in stock, working really hard to get our products back in. So hope you guys enjoyed this. I know I did. Looking forward to making some new content out here at the range and in here. So y'all have a good one, okay?